Hello everyone. We are into the month of May 2024 and perhaps uh, this is the only month where there's not much shake up or much happening uh, uh, in the universe above and the planets are giving us a much much more respite than they actually do or what we've experienced in the past couple of months. This month uh, witnesses uh, the configuration of only four planets which are clustered in the Earth sign of Taurus. And uh, these are Uranus, then uh, we have um, Jupiter, then we have Venus, Mercury, and then later on we are also joined uh, by the planet Sun, the luminary Sun, I would say. Now, when Sun moves into Taurus, it's actually a harbinger of independence. It actually screams out and advocates the more independent we are, the happier will we be. But before that, when Jupiter and Uranus and Mercury are uh, and uh, with Venus are coming in, it is a change of our personality from within. Because the three personal planets, that is Mercury, Venus and Jupiter, though is a social planet, but Mercury and Venus, that means our intelligence, our communications and the way we think and our ideas, if we think it from the heart, Venus, all about your feelings, actually can make your belief system much stronger. So with Venus uh, and Ma, uh, with Venus and Mercury, when we are changing our side, when we are working towards our strengthening our inner core, the inner core strengthens, the belief system strengthens, we can give vent to our ideas. Uranus, the erratic planet, which is always wanting spontaneity and spontaneity leads to independence. Because if we are independent, only can we be spontaneous without anybody controlling us. So rather than people controlling us, we start controlling our own destiny and become masters and responsible of the way we navigate our life. And since there are not much or many shakeups uh, um, in uh, the sign of Taurus or in uh, the month of May, we can carefully and deliberately execute our plans. The only bottom line that we need to think of is that we utilize our me time in a very, very constructive way. The space that we create for ourselves. Being alone is, is not a, a sharp or a taboo or it is, it is not something that is not good. It's actually very great. When you get into your me time, your thinking process and your clarity becomes more profound. Now, starting the month of May, on the May 2nd, we actually see and witness that the Pluto starts stationing to go retrograde. And when Pluto goes retrograde, the, the, he, it's a generational planet. Uranus, Neptune, Pluto, they are only very, very powerful and very, very potent when they are retrograde, not when they are direct. So when they are retrograde, their speed is relatively a lot faster than the speed when they are going direct. And you must understand that since these are very slow moving planets, their faster rate also according to us is slow because it's happening tentatively in that same sign until and unless it's situated on the cusp. Now Pluto has been in Aquarius for quite some time. So its retrograde is also into Aquarius. Only a shade bit it goes back into Capricorn. To all, but the effect is more of the Aquarius. So again, when Pluto is going retrograde, it is actually knocking things out of your life, which are not conducive to your growth or conducive to strengthening your structure. See, sometimes uh, for strengthening our structure, we only try to use the things that are already available in our uh, life or we don't want to think out of the box or we don't want to try something new. So it is something like going on renovating the building that is actually falling into shambles. 
so when we don't wake up pluto when it is going retrograde is going to destroy those feelings or hopes or the myths or the expectations that we have in us during that time so that we can build ourselves a new now pluto in aquarius also says that until and unless we have confidence in our ideas unless and until and unless we use our intelligence because the four pers uh, the three sorry personal planets and the belief system planet jupiter is in taurus it is directly pointing and is conducive into building our personality anew so in in the configuration of the degrees that it separates like aquarius and then we have taurus right so it's neither a square it is neither a sextile but it's in a comfortable position that whatever is being destroyed rebuilds our personality and gives us the strength to build a new so anything that's slipping from your hands during that time should not be regretted or should not be taken so personally to heart that we feel oh oh everything is lost actually nothing is lost only your paths are being cleared so pluto will clear your paths that you have been unable to clear yourself so that you can renew your personality renew your ideas renew your belief system and once again work towards your health wealth and happiness i realized that my interactions with my clients is very important though i've tried my best to interact but since we have a lot of time and space between us but the technology has made it this is the age of aquarius so the technology has made us easier that we can meet each other virtually but my wishing and my longing these are my manifestations and this is what makes me happy when i'm able to clarify doubts of the people uh, or of my listeners who have various questions in their mind and i always welcome that for the simple reason because it connects me more closer to you all that's one and second it also gives me a different point of view and they say life is all about learnings nobody is a master master as such we all learn from each other my endeavor is to teach as much as my endeavor to learn from you actually my experience tells me that the call of the hour is to keep ourselves mentally and physically healthy right so if we can build and replenish our support system be it in relationships finances work areas anything that helps us in sustaining a happy life so basically it is like controlling our own mind right so changing ourselves instead of trying to change the other people or our circumstances are actually the keys that help us create our own fortunes and help us also be happy in this ever so stressful world which actually we call the process of life so let's get together and make the process of life easier for us and more sustainable stay blessed